Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in this video, I would like to explain to you how you can color code your custom list in SharePoint Online. Uh, this is a pretty neat feature, pretty exciting feature that was uh, added recently, quite recently. Actually, it has been available for quite some time, but it required the use of custom code to achieve. But now it's available out of the box, which is great for us, uh, the end users. So. Uh, what I'm talking about is this. So here's an example uh, I have on the screen. I happen to have a custom list. It's a risk register with a few columns, few rows of information. And if you notice for every risk that I specify, I specify where the probability all right, of the risk, whether it's high, medium, or low. All right. Uh, and this happens to be uh, pretty much a drop down column just to show you behind the scenes. Uh, here we go. It happens to be pretty much a drop down column. It's a choice column, actually, and uh, the user needs to choose one of the choices. So, what I would like to do, I would like to color code it such that, you know, all the high risks are maybe colored in red, uh, all the medium ones are colored, let's say, in uh, yellow, and then, uh, you know, where the probability uh, is low, let's say it's green. Uh, so, here's how to do it you navigate to the column uh, that you want to color code. Uh, drop down, column settings, format this column. All right. Again, this is something that requires uh, required the use of code in the past. Uh, right now, it's available out of the box. So you just uh, click the checkbox. Yes, we want to enable uh, the various uh, colors and choices. And look at this. By default, it actually already does a bit of a color coding. Um, but I really don't like it. You know, I re I really need. Uh, to make it a little bit more clear to me. These are just different shades of uh, blue. So you can edit styles. And this is where you set for each and every choice uh, what the color will be. So for the low one, uh, let's make it green. Uh, for the medium, let's uh, make it yellow. And for high, uh, let's make it red. All right. Or, you know, I guess that's orange. Uh, let's make it something like that. Perfect. And then you hit save. And that's pretty much it. So from now on, I mean, if you notice your uh, your uh, list right now is color coded. Every new entry you add to the list, um, obviously it will be added to the list and it will be color coded accordingly. All right. That's all there is to it. A nice little trick. I really like this option. It allows us to, you know, pretty much achieve the same functionality we already had in, in Excel, right? Where we could color code based on a certain value of cell. Same thing here. Very easy to do, very straightforward to do, uh, and that's all I wanted to show you today. One last thing I wanted to mention before we end this video, my SharePoint Maven Academy. Uh, it's a place where you can enroll in a variety of SharePoint and Office 365 courses. Uh, all the courses are available on demand, so once enrolled, you can pretty much take them at your own pace. Uh, you navigate to the academy by going to academy.sharepointmaven.com, and I will also leave the link uh, in the uh, video notes as well. Uh, but once you make it to the site, um, you can uh, access all the courses. Uh, I have two different categories for you to choose from. I have some end user courses. I have some uh, site owner courses. And I constantly record and add additional courses for you to enroll in. Uh, and again, once enrolled, you can access those courses at your own pace from the convenience uh, of your computer. So hopefully you learned something new today. As always, happy to see you again on my uh, YouTube channel as well as my blog, SharePointMaven.com. Thank you very much and have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.